Anyways, we're back with more T2ID remake. We're going to do the Peach interlude, and we're also going to do the Bowser interlude. We'll do some more side questy stuff. Oh yeah, and I, for I forgot. So for some reason, the opening movie, um, it does not like the 60 FPS mod. I don't know why. So. I might get rid of the 60 FPS mod when we get to chapter 8. Because, yeah, it just, it just doesn't like that. <laughs> when I come back to gaming, I'll come back to the PS2. Okay. Now we are Waluigi Cat slash Cappy. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. Well, I'm guessing more Xeno Saga. So let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Yeah, I'm gonna say maybe. Yeah. This mustache menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. What do you do, Sir Grotus? I think I better tell you something. What is it, fool? <laughs> She's pregnant. What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is positive, sir. Your king is episode what? <sighs> Treason. Strange, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? I think he's busy. Oh, here we go. Well, guys. Get ready to hear some more funny volks, vocal mod. You forgot to say episode two. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, mate. Hold on, I'm getting my voice mod ready. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! They have a new, they have a new one called the Giga Chad. What does that sound like? You know what? We're gonna find out right now. Hello. What does Giga Chad sound like? Yo, what up? This is Giga Chad. Yeah. This is Giga Chad. Oh, I am the best. Yeah. Let's go. What up, bitch? It's Giga Chad. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like shit. Sounds like shit. Holy shit. Wow. Amazing. Now imagine if I just talked like this the whole stream. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Well, it's not narrator, but it's pretty funny, at least. Yeah. That that's that's the that's the Giga Chad voice. See now if I could keep that one like all the time, that'd be pretty funny. It's funny to a certain degree. Anyways, let's go in. Hello, TEC. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak with you. And I have struggled with what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, 
Please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? TEC, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed, and something terrible is. No, I'll not say, but I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you were being held here. According to the data, it's back. No, no way. That's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, TEC? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything, if anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you're being currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But TEC, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. TEC... I am the basis computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, TEC. But I must inform Mario about all of this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Ah! You! TEC. You miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. Ooh, we, get to, we get to hear Grotus' theme. That was fucking great, though. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, TEC. X knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on TEC's sides. <laughs> Got it, sir. The TEC, no. Mail sent. Princess Peach, I. Deletion complete. Damn, they made that really dramatic in this version. TC! <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. TC's no longer with us. No, 
You inhuman beast. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about computer. We have a very important role for you to play now. Yes, very important. <gasps> no! <laughs> Alright, fuck off, it's my time now. My chapters are better anyway. Uh, oh, Bowser! Uh, I got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this thing keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual. Your massiveness! <laughs> We did it! The Magic Koopa Scouts have found the suspicious underground chamber! It is, it isn't even on any maps! Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there! <laughs> About damn time! Well done! This is where all turns around for me, definitely! The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping, they're scrapping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby! Oh. What the hell is going on with Bowser there? Ah, uh, never mind. It's probably just, uh, hmm. I don't know. Ready to roll. Alright. Time to play 1-4, but it's actually 3-1. Did you guys know that? Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna get hit here. Oh no! But hey, at least I can fit in here now, that's pretty awesome. Ye how small Bowser is. He's small, small Bower. God damn, why do we gotta be so fucking small all the damn time? Bruh. Oh my god, no way I can actually fit in the castle this time! Peak, peak Bowser gameplay. It may, honestly, it makes me wish there were more of that. I wish there were more Bowser segments with the versus the levels. Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. Police, no problem. It felt right at home. Where are we now? Gracious me! Look, Lord Bowser, on the wall behind you! Hello? Could it be? Oh yeah, a crystal star. Advantage, Bowser. <laughs> At last, we found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze, chumps. Uh, uh, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hog, brother. You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles. You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby, brother. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty. You're good. Of course, good don't count for squatting this biz, babe. The champ's belt's mine. <laughs> oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak? Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever see a wiggling? Do this. Oh, uh, oops. Pain. That was way more awesome in the original than the original. Ouch. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Now you're sleeping. 
I knew you were a weakling. Yeah, Hawk Hogan, dude. Yo, the crystal star! Mm. Oh, it's related too! Oh no, no, no! Wait, hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass. It's a flim flam, a fake. What are you saying? Use words I know. <laughs> but the real one, the great uh, Gonzalez, has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the frog, brother. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking of riddles, you chicken nugget. Crud. Who do I have to fly to get the Crystal Star? Who? Who? <laughs> I love. I still. I love that Bowser calls him a chicken nugget. That's one of the fucking funniest lines in the game, right there. Bowser used down B. You know what? It makes sense. Alright, we're, we're ready to do some side questy stuff now. It's on, like Donkey Kong. It'll be just a little longer for our next show to the partner, sir. That's Porter, the station manager here in Trogport. Oh, yeah, I forgot his name is Porter. <laughs> ah, there must have been so many heartbreaking goodbyes on this very spot. It's just so deep, man. I love the thought of it. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom! Mario, that sounds like an email from Princess Peach. Uh -huh. Mario, I know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats down in space. Oh! And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to rescue the monster spirit, they need my... Hmm. hmm. The moon? Like the one in space? Princess Peach is on the moon? Yeah, we're gonna do chapter seven. I don't know if we'll do, I, we might get to do chapter seven tonight. I mean, I could go for another two hours, honestly. But that's two hours of side quests, so maybe not. Maybe chapter seven will be tomorrow. I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool. But why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh, you don't think something happened there, did you? You have a trade ticket? Whoa! I'm gonna try to save my money too. I know it won't be easy. But one day, I'm gonna ride this SX Express. I promise you that. Of course, even then, I'll never grow tired of gazing at this engine. Bonk. Dad's job. Hey, you know what? My daddy found a new job. He takes care of little oinks in Toe Town. He's all recharged now. Yay! They fixed the little oink mistranslation in the original. Because in the original, they said he's taking care of Boo Boo or whatever the fuck. Which is, which is Lil Oink's Japanese name. They fixed it. That's one localization change I'm happy with. <laughs> I'm still not good at studying, but I'm trying this so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I can do to help daddy yet, but I'm gonna study lots till I figure something out, okay? See ya, from Tiny T Jr. How are you, Mario? This is E from Twilight Town. Remember me? After a lot of soul searching, I found that I'm truly happy. I may not be able to forget the hard times or even completely remember them, but I've been thinking things over, and I believe that my sad past paved the way to my current happiness. Is that deep? Anyways, I can't think about that stuff all the time. Kids play all day, then they get hungry and cry and scream. So I'm pretty busy all day, every day. The kids would love to see you again, so please drop by next time you're in the area. Fondly yours, Eve. Can't wait for Edgy Peach. Oh boy. Peach! Well, I guess what I found in Rapture's Ruins, bro. You have a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sorta of sad if you know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the, do the domed Rattress Ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, some, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry, and that he'd wake for the child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. 
But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient wraith, the Loofs. He'd been there, guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. Why the fuck is Luigi's theme so epic now? He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future, like the Manato. The ancient Luf Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Mario sleeping again, rip. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their empire, empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Rampari broke the compass into seven parts. He had six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until where the hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me and then he, he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece of the compass, he pointed to the far north where the dreaded hate song tower stands. This time I heard Princess Claire's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess. I'll be super and then I'll... I'll... Uh, well, I'll figure out the rest later. Anyway, I head back here at the road part after that. I'm making my final preparation for the, my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. Ooh! <laughs> hmm, what voice should I give this guy? I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. <laughs> For a must, I must deliver something. That's Luigi's pal, Screamy. Screamy creeps me out. I've never seen anything like that. Where's he from? So, uh, fun fact. Um, if any, if everybody doesn't know already, this guy is actually based off of an unused design for Smorg. <laughs> and he eventually just became one of Luigi's party members instead. Really weird, I know. Anyways, um, what can we do now? There's not really a whole lot we can do now we have Ultra Boots, but I guess we can talk to all the residents. Playing a theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as funny since I left my favorite actors on the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. Ah, uh, I can't believe I have to meet you, Madame Flurry. I love your performance in The Cowing King of Steer. I've seen it ten times. Yeah, now a day dwindles away while I love in bed doing nothing, dude. Oh well, but all this loafing starting to depress me. I may have tons of money, but I have no idea how to use it. But you probably can't relate to my problems. You don't look rich at all. Well, that Koopa finally realized. Ah, uh, how refreshing. It's so soothing to sit on bare earth watching people in their hustle-bustle lives. My kid brother never sits for a side. Maybe I should offer him to let him play with me. Yeah, I think I'll ask him if he wants to play soccer with me. <laughs> oh, I didn't win anything in today's Happy Lucky Lottery. But I'll win tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be here until tomorrow. I think it's still the same for me. Yeah, 4,500. Bonk. Bonk. Dude, how's the Pianta Parlor doing? We can check- we can check them out now. And I have no mini. We're gonna support our brother. I mean, our new boss. Yeah, that's it. Frankie's nice, we don't want to see him here angry. Frankie and I are gonna keep the Pianta Binde family syndicate together. And maybe we'll start our own family. Oh, we always big, Mario. We always seem to be in your debt, you know. Well, that's that's this is actually unchanged from the last chapter. That's too bad. Oh yeah, you know what? Actually, probably the biggest thing we can check on Lumpy. He'll be back. Lumpy's gonna be back. He's gonna have new shit for us. It's gonna be hype. 
My family never talks. We all do our own things. I just wish... Ah, I can't write anything good at all. I'm just bad. I'm bad at writing. You don't take the family somewhere far away and blast my creative side into gear. This is like the worst family I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> Castaways returned from the cursed island of Kill Hall Key with treasure, maybe. Mustache guy's back from Kill Hall Key. I want to go. Who cares if I get cursed? A guy who wants to be some make some easy money. You smell that? Somebody smells really rich. You ass indeedy doy. Don't tell me a guy dressed like you grew up in Poshley Heights. That's ridiculous. If you did, you better watch your back. There are a few more than thugs in town. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I'll tell you. I'm lying low in the thieves' den because I'm a wanted Goomba. What? You're saying I don't have to keep a secret? Are you being serious? You don't know who I am? I'm such a huge thief, I once robbed Bowser himself. Yes, it blew through 700 coins of the pile, but next time I'll do better. I'm gonna hawk my expensive wristwatch and play some more. Brilliant move, eh? I'm just gonna check if any of these guys are changed. No anarchy circulation. It's all muggy and nasty. Who'd want to come here? <laughs> fucking gritty. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you about something. How about that? There are secret blue pipes below us that are connected to the other parts of the world. If you find them, you'll be able to go to distant places like Horseshoe Heights instantly. Yeah, I knew that, buddy. You don't have any good jobs, do you? You know, easy work, unbelievable pay. Eh, yeah, did you say lottery? Nah, no, no, not lottery to me. For me, I lose way too much. Alright, guys, you ready to get the fucking Ultra Boots? Yeah! You got an Ultra Hammer! Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to meet you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like the Super Hammer, so no prob. Hold down B and rotate in left stick until your body gets twisty. Then at least B to use your Ultra Hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? Woo! Fuck you! Way to go! You got it. Are you clear on the controls? Fuck you! Alright, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer! Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like a normal block. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, but use the method I taught you to break bigger things, okay? And you can use the older hammer in battle, too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I get to see you, Mario. Definitely say Princess Peach, okay? And be careful in your quest, okay? Poor Toadette. Now, I need to know. Aw. The Ultra Hammer can't flip panels, still. 0 out of 10 game. <laughs> if I find him, I'm gonna give him a whoop, a smack, a thumping, and a pounding. And then I'm gonna give him a clobbering and a whooping. <sighs> well, at least that's a little different. You already got now. You have a oh, yeah, I never got attack effects P. Hmm. What attack effects am I missing? Ain't there like a red? Where's the all? Where's attack effects R? Huh? Whatever happened to that? Never end. I never did end up getting that, did I? It's not the boots. It's a hammer. I know, but I can't. I want to be able to flip. I want to flip the panels with my ultra hammer, like in 64, but I can't. It's very sad. Anyways. 
Let's go do let's go talk to some other people. Hey, it's that guy again. Have you been power up your partners? If you don't have enough science supplies to power them up, ask him early. I'm lovely. Yeah, sometimes I go see you to help find stuff I misplaced or whatever. Yeah, that's my excuse anyway. Truth is, I just like to go see you. Don't tell anyone you saw me here or I'll doink you. Hey, yeah, it's me, Darkly. I like dim places, yeah. Nighttime's pretty nice, but I like this place, too. And this place is more than just dim and dank. People are slimy, too. Well, who can we upgrade? Who's worth upgrading is the real question. Um, we have six. Let's get, um, let's get Vivian ranked up. I wish that was something they carried over from Paper Mario 64, though. Alright, and we'll also upgrade Flurry. I'm glad you can skip this, though. This definitely speeds up things a bit. Alright, and I think uh, that's all we could. So we need six more Shine Sprites to beat the game. Woo! Woo! Oh, you got the next Gizzle Star! Well done! Take that thing to the thousand year door! Oh. Oh. Hey, is it true that Don Pianta no longer heads the Pianta Syndicate? Frankie does? Not that I've ever met Frankie either. Sure, I want money, but I don't need a lot of it. The way I see it, the more money you have, the more money you want to have. If I have enough to help, help my friends enjoy my days, I'll be fine. Seek is your life, man. Alright, what see what troubles do we have here? Uh, important thing. Get these ingredients. I need my magazine and security code. Let's do security code first. I forgot the code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Me in front of the hot dog stand, Glitzville. He never gets a name. His name is just Businessman. I'm trying to remember what the passcode even is. Hey, it's the mustache. Remember me? It's Pierre, the unemployed slacker. I decided to quit thieving, but I still really want to hang out with Ishnail. Mm, but if I'm not going to be a thief, I have to do something else for him. What should I do, huh? Wonder if I'm just dumb. <laughs> Dumb's a funny word. Hey, you, yeah, chump. So you went to Paul Shelly Ice, did ya? People here are so filthy, they are so filthy rich. They border on creepy. I sure wouldn't mind going there one day, though, and starting some trouble. Yeah, I can't wait this great new scheme to make money. Check this out. It's called a sock shop. A sock shop. You get the sock me ten times? It only costs ten coins. I figured uncontrollably violent guys like you can't live without socking people, right? Yeah, the only thing is, that's such a pathetic way to make a living. Crud. Gus's redemption art. If you want to take on Shelly, you have to use the main entrance. Look, a lot of shall we say sketchy press Not to belabor the point, but don't tell anyone to run the trouble center. So I think that's everybody we can talk to on the surface of town. Well, actually, no, not true. I could go- we can go talk to Grifty. Yeah, let's go talk to Grifty and hear some more stories. There we go. Good day to you, sis. Dragons and dungeons. Trying not to get copyright infringement. The demon built a dungeon near his palace and filled it with terrifying monsters. All those who fell into disfavor were thrown into this dungeon or rot. 
Yeah, and the demon also had three dragon pets, Hooktail, Gloomtail, and Bonetail. These dragons flew across the land, spreading fear and sorrow over all. The dragon's remains have never been found, and even now, some ne nervously wonder if they still live. What else do we have? The Boo Heroine's Last Days. Once the Boo Heroine hit her star in a steeple, she was trapped in a nearby town. Some say the Crystal Star lies in that steeple still. If there's another tale you wish to ask. The strong toad held his star and continued his arduous journey. But eventually the miles took their toll upon him and he collapsed. A traveling healer happened by and saved his life. But the toad knew his fate was to be trapped in the chest when the star was gone. So he asked his healer to hide the star in a secret place known to no one. And we don't know where that we don't know where that star was dug up. I don't know if that ever gets told, but yeah. Anything new you can tell me? Oh, all these are done. What did Zeppi send me this time? Ooh, Shadow Queen. Fan art. I appreciate this. A Wooga. Anyways, we got work to do, lads. We can buy Power Plus P finally! Yay! Let's also buy uh, Peekaboo. Actually, I got a better idea. No, no. We're gonna buy Heartfinder. We're also gonna buy Happy Fly. Then we can get two badges on our list. I might buy Peekaboo last because Peekaboo is really shitty. So let's look at my badge list. We have 70 out of 86. That is pretty damn good. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I know what badge is in between Power Plus and Jumpman. This is all or nothing. That's what badge I'm missing. I'm also missing a Hammerman, P down, D up, P, which I think you only get in the Palace of Shadow. Double dip P, I have no fucking idea where that is. I'm missing... I don't know the fuck. I think this is slow go. Wait, I have to buy that from Ralph. And I'm missing two attack effects badges. I don't know which... Where the other two are... I also miss, I'm also missing bump attack. I'm missing whatever this is. Um, I'm missing that. I, don't know what that. I think this is return postage. Something like that. One of the, one of these is return postage. I know that. Well, either way, that's not this. This badge list isn't gonna get finished until I beat the pit. So yeah. Anyways, we got some more shit to look at. A Goomba that likes dark, damp places. It must look like that because it lives below ground. A gloom with wings that may or may not get moldy. Fuzzy with wings and high defense. It flies in the air, but it'll come down if you stomp on it. It flies so a hammer won't reach. It's hard to find attacks that work. Uh, what else do we have? Q-trip piranha. Poison pokey. A poisonous pokey that attacks with poison and sometimes calls in friends. Take it out quickly. Where's the rough puff at? I think it's on the next page. Oh yeah, Dark Boo. A creepy looking boo with high HP and attack. Get it before it returns invisible. Where the fuck did I- I missed the rough puff, didn't I? Where the fuck is that at? Am I stupid? Where's the rough puff at? Oh, there it is. A relative of the dark puff, or perhaps just a different colored one. It charges up in the shocks you with lightning. It'll absorb lightning attacks, so try not to use those. You skip getting Hammerman from that guy. I need I need Mooney so I can to afford it first. Um What else do we have? Dupless. Um oh yeah, Smorg. A monster made of tons of smaller smorgs uses smorg tentacles to attack. You can't damage the body until you defeat the tentacles. Oh yeah, here's Prince Mush. He's the last entry in the game. 
the original champ of the Glitz Pit and a squeaky clean fighter. He was gone for a long time, but he's still super strong. If his stance changes, he's about to use a different battle style, so watch out. Outside the ring, he's Jolene's little brother, Mush. Just Mush. I, I This is the fucking... One of the best things ever, him being an, an enemy. Makes sense that he's the last one on the list, though. But yeah. Okay, well, um... What else can I... Well, so I have 100% Chapter 6. We need 100% Rogue Port Sewers. I think we can, actually, now. We can get everything in Rogue Port Sewers now. But... I need to go above ground first and get... I, could, I need to go talk to Lumpy first. We're gonna do some more side questy stuff for a few hours. Yeah, I probably won't start chapter seven tonight because this side questing stuff gets really addicting real fast. And it's just nice to get it out of the way, honestly. Also, what trouble did I pick again? I forgot already. I could probably check my journal, right? Uh, oh yeah, the security code. We gotta go to chapter 3 then, at some point. But first, let's go talk to Lumpy. Also, did I... <laughs> I'm 100 percent the game while finishing the game, yeah. Did I, I... I'm missing some star pieces here, apparently. Oh, Mario, it's me, Lumpy, don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil, ring a bell? Yeah! I... I... I did it! I totally struck oil! Whoa! There are times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but... But I never lost sight of the dream. And one day, I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario. You sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan with a little more than just to show my appreciation. Please take this. 999 coins. Holy fuck. I've breached quadruple digits. Finally, I have money now. Boy, thank you for everything. Now you have some capital to start your own adventure. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. And also, I have kept a journal of my trip. Do you want to read it? Yeah, so this is another thing. Well, I'm gonna take a sip of juice real quick. What did I do to get that much Mooney? I gave this dude 300 coins. I waited like five chapters and then he came back and gave me a thousand. <laughs> it's like an investment basically. The night before. The night before. I'm finally off tomorrow. I filled my pack with cheese and I'm ready to go. I love that Mario's holding the journal. That's so cute. Look at him. My to-do list is crossed off. I owe so much to all my investors, not just money. The old get-rich-quick dream, but this is different. I have a reason. See, I owe it to my hometown. It's so cold there, people are constantly shivering. If I find oil and send it there, then people can use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and then make them and then make them happy. Will make me rich and then oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. It seems to be the perfect goal, right? I've always, always had this dream since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is a big part of it too, but who doesn't want money? Money, money, cover me with it, please! Ugh. Well, enough for tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. For you another? Know the buzzer fiend. Why did it have to turn out like this? I got to Toad Town by boat, then took a train to the foot of Mount Rugged. Unfortunately, you can only get to Mount from Mount Rugged to dry a dry desert but on foot. And tragedy waited for me as I slagged I slogged faithfully up that winding trail. It was a huge awful vulture. I had read about it in my travel brochures. This buzzer accosted all travelers on Mount Rugged. I hightailed it, but buzzer had me in its sights. I felt a piercing jolt as its claws dug deep into my backpack. After dropping me onto a cliff, Buzzer seemed to forget me and disappear. I left out a sigh of relief, but then I toughed out my back. I noticed my pack was gone. My back. My pack. It uttered all my food and money to start the operation. No. That mangy Buzzer made off with everything of importance to me. All I have left is this journal. A shovel to dig for oil and my life. 
though perhaps living is miracle enough, or so I'd like to believe. But now I can't turn back. I climb down the mountain to the desert. The tragic desert sprawls out before me, beckoning dreamers and fools. I am both, and I set out with heart and full of dread. <laughs> All this shit is just like really good to a Paper Mario 64 nerd like me. Like I can just picture Dry Dry Desert and Mount Rugged in HD. Now that would be amazing. A helping hand. I am now in a place called Dry Dry Outpost. Someone pulled me, lifeless perched from the merciless desert floor. It was a Koopa with a fine mustache named Colorado. An angel in a pith helmet. Yep, there's there's the net there's like the third mention of Colorado in this game. He was a world traveling adventurer archaeologist. I told him about Buzzer. And my quest for oil and my dreams of riches and worth for my people. After I spoke at length, he gave me food and water. I asked him why he would be so kind, and he looked into the distance and said, Turning one's back on an ambitious dreamer invites others to do the same to you, old boy. I just want to believe in every dream this sad old world can muster. This guy, he still chases his own dreams, dusty dreams of archaeology. Oh, he, he even said old boy, like in PPM64. We stayed up all night discussing each other's dreams. It was great. I miss Colorado. I wish he was in this game, honestly. Reliable guide. I am now at a desert oasis. After Colorado left, I set out from Dry Dry Outpost to find my digging point. But the desert's so wide, it's impossible to find anything without a guide. Ugh. I had no idea where I was going, and my head was spitting in the heat. I even burped in the journal. My throat was burning and scratching. Was I awake? Was I asleep? I heard a voice calling to me from far away. Hey, are you a nice guy? If you're a nice guy, then me give something nice. Or give me something nice. Oh my god, it's Mustafa. I didn't have the food or water I received from Colorado. I had nothing. Why do you lie here? If you're a nice guy, give me a nice thing and I'll help. I croaked. All I have is all I have is my dream. When I next awoke, I was at the Ace's Oasis. You're awake, I heard. Hey, you. You're, you're finally awake. Where is that sound? Yeah, it's rewind time. I don't think I don't know if I have that. I don't remember. Colorado's a name in this guy in the game is kinda wild. There was a little Bowser there and a grey headscarf. My name is Mustafa. You had nothing to give, but I get got something nice anyway. I don't know how or why, but it seems I've been saved by yet another stranger. Do you need a guide? If there is somewhere you want to go, I will take you. Unbelievable. I've actually found a reliable guide. <laughs> at the digging point. We're here. I'm finally at the spot where I'm supposed to dig for oil. I was told to draw a line from a blue cactus to a cactus-like rock. I went north, a precise distance from the exact determination point. I ended up here, at a point between dry dry ruins and the oasis. Mustafa has guided me this far with skill and bravery. He said you are a nice guy. Your dream will come true. Mustafa believes this. He left then, leading me to fight this battle on my own. All I have to do is dig here until I find oil. That's all. I stocked up on lemons and limes at the oasis, so I should last a few days. I must find that oil. That one was a bit shorter. The long dig. I am digging for oil now. And my hand shakes as I write these, perhaps, final words. I have been digging from sun up to sun down, but still no sign of that sweet crude. Maybe I've just picked a dry spot in this cursed spot, in this cursed desert. But I'm sure this is where Malavli told me to dig. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's no more food or water, and even my hopes have dwindled to nothing. This is it. My dream dies here with me under these unforgiving skies. My dream. My... My? Wait, no, this is not it. My dream is of something else. Yes, yeah, something else. Dig. Keep digging. I must keep digging. Arms move body, work, find oil. The wrap-up. The wrap-up. I am now on boat back to Deer Roadport. I did it. I finally struck oil in that dry desert. I have left the day-to-day -day operation to my men in the field, and now return home. It all came true, striking it rich, finding oil, my dream. But somewhere along the way, this became more than just my dream. So many people have helped to make this dream happen, so many. 
You had nothing to give, but I guess got something nice anyway, dear Mustafa. I just want to believe in every dream this sad world can muster. Ah, oh, Colorado. People who left lent me money and gave me food and showed me the way. So many hands reaching out to help me. I must do something for all of them. That feeling has pushed me even harder. I must share this feeling with the people who helped me as I struggled. I must share these words that have seared themselves into my heart. Dreams come true, Lumpy. I see. Well, I'll just be here thinking about what to do next, so say hi anytime. Man, this guy's the goat. This guy's honestly great. That's Lumpy or Tui. His dream is to strike it rich by finding oil. Got to buy my dedication. Bonk. He did it though, guys. He finally found oil. Out of him. Alright, now a new question is... My mi which areas am I missing star pieces in? I actually don't know. Nothing in this area. Maybe I'm missing something in West Side? Oh yeah, there is something that I missed in this area. What the fuck did I miss in this area? Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I forgot about the star piece panel. There we go. I think that's all of the star pieces in Rogueport. No, there's one more somewhere. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, it has to be either this side, it has to be near, near the train station, or what? Oh, there's something over here. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm going on the flight. Is there like a star piece panel over here or something? Oh yeah. I don't remember if that- I don't think that was there in the original. Okay, now I have all the star pieces in Rogueport. There we go. Sound gallery. Oh yeah, right, I unlocked um, the Prince Mush battle theme. Let me listen to it again. Good shit, though. Intelligent systems really cooked when they made this song. Sounds like engaged music. Could be, could be some of the same composers. You never know. We won't know who the composers are until I beat the game, though, and watch the credits.
so glad they added a sound gallery in this game. I hope, I hope we get remixes of this song, because that would be awesome. Yeah. They got second phases. Yeah, you know what? You're right. That is a very Fire Emblem thing to do. I mean, I don't know what game started that. I think Three Houses might have started that. Or maybe one of the 3DS games. I don't know. But they do that thing where they have the map music, but when you're actually in combat, the music gets more, like, instruments and shit. It's cool. Hmm. What was I gonna do again? Oh yeah, I was gonna go down, um... I was gonna go down here. Awakening did that first? Okay. Either way, um, there's a few new things we can do in the sewers now. There's a lot of new things. This is the big room, though. This is where all the good shit is. He was a good person, but he spends money right and left without thinking. He made a ton on his book about the underground here, but he blew it just as fast. I guess he was just destined for a life of crime. Is that, is that rat, uh, like, in love with Pierre? Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? He's pressing A with perfect time and to ball is stylish. The crowd will go wild. Some have attacked multiple ones. I'll share one with you. Try pressing A right before Bobber hits the ground after his bomb attack. Stand hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. You wanna know what I'm doing down here, do you? <laughs> I'm down here looking for allegedly buried gold. That's what I'm doing. Not like I'm an unemployed. Unemployed. I have tons of time to kill. Don't be ridiculous. Anyways, the main thing I wanna do is I wanna go, uh... Up here. Because there is shit to do up here. I don't think it's up here. Anyways, over here, there's a shine sprite here. Get a free shine sprite. But we're not done yet. There's still more in this room. I love all the- I love- I, I don't know, this the cleanup is fun. Okay, but we gotta... We gotta take our good old pal Wii out. <laughs> we gotta go over here. We gotta... Boom. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a fucking panel up here somewhere. Hello? Yeah, my name is Mouse. Help me find this one. Okay, well, it's not over there. I can tell you that. Is it over here? Isn't there a star piece panel up here? I swear to fuck there is. What the hell is it? Maybe it's not up here. Am I stupid? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, wait, hang on a sec. They're right here. Eh? Yeah, I, th I think I'm. I think I'm missing something. Wait a minute. I think I remember what I need to do here. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> I need to, um... Can I, can I go through the... Can I go through here? Can I not get down there? Hmm. I actually don't remember what you're supposed to do here. Sworn you can get over there. I don't remember how, though. 
Is there not is there not a shine sprite up there anymore or am I crazy? It says there's something here. Wait, there's something here? What? What am I missing? Something here? What is he talking about? What the fuck? Is it over- is it somewhere over here? Oh, is it behind here? No? Ah, uh, <laughs> what is this? I forgot what this was. Me confused. Well, apparently Miss Mouse says there's something here. Right here? What? It says it's like right here. What the hell? I am confused. Hello? Miss Maz, are you feeling alright? Why is she say why is she saying there's something here? What? <laughs> Did I like not get something inside this building or what? Weird. I don't know. I don't, I'm not I'm honestly confused. Yeah, what, what that one's all about. Something you want to ask old Wonky, huh? If you pay me five coins, I can tell you about finding star pieces. You've heard of star pieces, of course. Yes, they're no less than a piece of actual star that have fallen to the earth. They're so pretty and shiny that anyone who stumbles upon one turns into a collector. If you want to find some, just check out all the nooks of each area you visit. They always seem to be slightly hidden, know what I mean? And as well as that's all I have to say. I can tell you about the Pirate King Cortez. About a thousand years ago, there was a Pirate King called Cortez on these seas. He raided this city often, striking fear to the hearts of its inhabitants. But Cortez was betrayed by one of his crew. Just before he died, he said to have sailed off with all his treasure. Then, even after he died, some say his spirit still protects that, still protects that treasure. But you know, that's all just hazy legend now. I am a sauce god and found some good art. Yeah, for real. We smash Shadow Queen in these parts. If you have five coins, I can tell you about the Trouble Shenta. Shenta. There's a place called the Trouble Shenta on the east town of Roadport. People who need help write little notes on the board in there. And if you help them out, they give you a reward of some sort. Well, Wonka hears that some sort of the rewards are pretty tasty, my friend. And I suppose that's all I have to say. I suppose I can tell you about the Southern Island secret. For the far to the south of the road port lies an isle. And on this isle there are yellow blocks in a row. And if you do a spring jump on the second of these blocks from the bottom, I hear you get something good for your health. But what island could this Southern Isle be referring to anyway? A spin jump? I don't actually know what he's talking about. I can tell you about Lucky Punies. There's a place called Bobby Woods somewhere in this world. And there are small beasts named Punies who live there. Oh, Wonka hears that anyone who sees a Puny will have fortune visited upon them. Some people go to Bobby Woods just to catch a glimpse of a Lucky Puny. And I suppose that's all I have to say. I can tell you about the incident I saw. The incident I saw. <laughs> So I saw this really cute girl in a pink dress walking around town a while back. She was pretty enough to be a princess, I tell you. She hung around town for a little while after buying something from that old lady. 
Then she got nabbed in the back alley by a bunch of suspicious guys in white suits. Pretty sure I'm the only person who saw that though. Old Wonka was scared. Well, guess it's neither here nor there. And I probably should have woken up before now, so oops. Still, just knowing what's going on in those streets can be helpful sometimes. That's like some of the biggest lore right there, actually. I suppose I can tell you about the charmer. There's a charmer named Merle down here somewhere. If you get her a charm, you'll get good stuff in battle. Well, Wonky's got to give a full disclosure there. Tempering with magic isn't for everybody. The charms work, but they make all Wonky smell like bananas. Here's by the stench of sleeve fruit. Okay, he, he has, you can look at all of his old shit here. That's pretty nice. He has a lot of fucking stuff to tell you. I can tell you about the Southern Isle Wacka. There's a rare creature called the Wacka on the Southern Isle. Yeah, if you whack him, he drops this great little thing called a Wacka Bump. The thing is, people have been whacking the Wackas to get Wacka Bumps. And now, almost all of them have been whacked to the point of extinction. Isn't that sad? I need to know more. I can tell you about Creepy Steve's secret. There's a wacky old place, Creepy Steeple, somewhere in this land. And if you jump on the fourth step, old Wonka here, you get a good thing. I don't know how useful it is, but hey, it's worth a shot. Oh yeah, so he's talking about the fucking random ass coin block on the fourth step. It's really stupid. I can tell you about Fred Frankly's garbage. Why are you looking through his garbage? There's a kindly old teacher named Frankly who lives on Royal Court's east side. And if you check his garbage when he has some, I hear you can learn stuff. I don't know what's in there, but his bin has trash in it, I check it out. I even heard there's some notes about terrifying monsters in there. Yeah, so if you miss tattling anything, it'll show up in there. I might learn new stuff soon, so check back with Wonky. Oh, I actually exhausted all of his info. Okay. Well, I guess we're done in here then, huh? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Merly and we're lovely and figure this fucking shit out. What star piece am I missing? I see a star piece. It is below Rokeport. You leave this building and go right. When you see water, you do a spring jump to the bar and go enter a pipe. Oh, right, that one. Yeah, we're gonna get- we're gonna get to that one. I see a shine sprite. Underneath rope port near a glowing panel where water flows in front. Oh yeah! I forgot about that one. Okay, we're gonna do that too. There's a lot of rogue port shit to do. So... Yeah, we're gonna be here a while, guys. <laughs> we're gonna be here. We gotta go do all the stuff in Rogue Port Sewers. I guess we'll do this first. We can get this Defend Plus P while we're here, too, huh? Or, I don't know, this might just be a normal Defend Plus. I don't remember, actually. Actually, really, there's a lot of, like, people that just tell you shit in this game, and I love it. I don't know why. Like, let me think about all the people that tell you stuff. You have Grifty, you have Wonky, you have Luigi, you have, um, Lumpy. They all have, like, all these stories that you can just, like, listen to. It's great. There we go. So I think that's a brand new badge, actually. I think. Well, you have 70 out of 86, so we're missing... Missing some badges, but yeah. Either way, um, we have a few things we can do now that we have the boat ability. Actually, no, not that one. I'm thinking of one on a different side of Rogue Port, though. Look at Mario go! Wow. I need to find me some good sauce, too. Also, wait a minute. My, uh, my Twitch fucked up for a second there. Is my Twitch okay, by the way? 
There is something I find really funny though. <laughs> Ra random thing I just rem I just uh, checked out. Every time I get a message from my bank, they always they always call me Jacob Alex. I don't know why they do that. Because like. I don't know, do they, do, you, do they use, like, your middle name, too? And my, my middle name isn't even Alex, it's Alexander. It's really weird. <laughs> Something random, I noticed. They, like, they don't even call me by my last name, either. They just say Jacob Alex, like, that's my name. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know why my bank does that, but hey, I mean, I ain't complaining, it's kind of funny. Just go into my emails, and it's like, hey, Jacob Alex, you know? Although, like, 99% of my emails is just Twitch summaries anyways. And honestly, I kind of like having it that way. It's just kind of brain rot shit, really. Okay, well, you know what? I guess what we'll do now... I guess what we'll do is we will... Um, we'll go to the Thousand Year Door now, I guess. We'll go do get that out of the way. Since I'm down here anyway. Ooh. They got like some violin strings in here now. Alright guys, it's time for the next Crystal Star location. Man, the burp- Jesus Christ, I mean, I mean, I get those chicken wraps are good, but man, you don't have to fucking burp every damn minute. <laughs> like, jeez. Alright, last location of the game- well, last main location, I guess. The fucking moon. Ooh. And it's all- look at that, look at that coloring. That's pretty cool. The location's been recorded! Hey, what's that boulder dash? Tell me, old boy, does that say the last hit of stars? No. Seems awfully unlikely. Yes, I agree. Hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon! Oh! The moon? Great gobbledy, Princess Peach is there as well. This seems a bit off. Uh, the problem here is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Uh, looking at this may take a little time to so come back in a bit, alright? I can't concentrate on this without you st with you staying right there. Wait outside for three minutes, then come back. I, I don't remember- I still don't remember if it's three minutes real time. Zip Toad Verified? <laughs> I need to look at that in a, in a little while. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now. Zip Toad Verified. That is fucking hilarious. I think that's better than the original, because in the original it says the real Zip Toad, but I think Zip Toad Verified is even funnier. Yo, what's up, Super Sleuth? I heard you uncover my imposter. It's sus. You're the best man, seriously. See, when you get to be as big a star as Zip Toad, these sort of things happen all the time, it's the biz. But man, alive. For a no-name like you to brave danger and find my imposter, reminds me of a younger yet less successful me. Yeah, so as far as so is for me, I'm headed to Toad Town to fill my next leading role. 
the soon to be a hit on film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. I hear you're on adventure or something, so I'll leave you with a line from my last flick. The Toad Warrior. You're cool, baby, but I'm cool. I'm cooler. Best of luck, kid. The superstar, the real zip toad. And then you can see Junior Troopa in the background. Junior Troopa 2024 HD appearance. And there he is. There's the man himself. Maybe Junior Troopa's going to star in the movie. I don't know. It's possible. Anyways, we got business in Toad Town Sewer. Or Toad Town Sewers. God damn it. Now I really am playing fucking Paper Mario 64. I really act like I'm playing it. Anyways, we have to go in here real quick. We're gonna unlock some new... We're gonna unlock a new fast travel area. Ooh! Yep, so now we can fast travel to Poshley Heights. I wonder if it's going to take us to the same place it usually does. Let's find out. Yeah, it's in the same location. Let's go. I wonder if any of these people's dialogue got changed. These people seem to be talking the same drivel. Oh. Hey, how many items do I have? Oh no, I have too much item and I have too much space. Or, well, not enough space, I should say. Well, problem. I need to go store some stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna have to cook in a little bit. Also, we can break this finally. Boom. So is this, this is what I think it is? FP plus. Yeah, it's just an FP plus in there. Nothing big. Nothing crazy. Anyways, we have business, lads. We're so, there's something important we gotta do. We gotta go over here real quick. Uh, well, we need Goombella out, obviously. Haha, uh -huh, you can't get me. You can't get me. Ha 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 ha. Actually, this will be easier to get to since there's not as many rooms to go through. You know, you know what? I'm glad about that. And the more I think about it, the more I realize. So, um, Rogueport Sewers makes less sense in the original, actually, because why are there four rooms connected to each other underground? Okay. Okay, that's weird. Why is the Spunya not up there anymore? Weird change, but alright. Anyways, I decided to come in here after I, um, after I got Rhino Jump. Fuck. Because I can't get that, that, oh, wait, 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 we need a Miss Mouse. Got another pretty lucky P to sell, huh? Did I get it? I got it, let's go. Oh! Oh, again! You know, maybe I'll get into danger. There we go, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Merly. I don't need it right now. So using the previous bell. Either way, we're gonna do we're gonna fight the Spunya real quick. Alright, I need you to piss off, Spanya. Oh, 
Alright, well, uh, you're also dying then today. Uh, okay, now we have the real battle that I want to do. Alright, here's the real deal. The Spunya. This is the big this is the big guy that I wanted to tattle. As a Spunya, its body is made of the springy discs. It may not look like much, but it's pretty tough. Watch out for those spikes on its head. He won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there, okay? Alright, quick hammer time. Whoop. Yeah! Uh-oh, fog. Fog on both sides, actually. Alright, um... Well, how about we found the rage, then? And maybe we can try an Ultra Hammer. Oh, oh no! Alright, um, try that again. Oh, damn it. Okay, um. Hey, you know what? Fuck, I just Ice Storm then. Pretty, if I'm not mistaken, I think Ice Storm gets rid of the, uh, Fog. Yeah. Kind of a niche use for Ice Storm, but it's pretty cool, honestly. Yay! So there's basically just free, free, free Shine Sprites in this room. Which is pretty amazing. You can only get this one after you're getting Tornado Jump, which is why I like to come here after Tornado Jump. Better that, it's better to do that than to return later. Oh, so, yeah. I don't be surprised the professor's done by now. Let's speak with him again. Another room in here, huh? Wow, what's the significance of it? And then the Sarah Chamber with the pur of purpose unknown. This is why I love archaeology. A oh, fog. I hate how Yoshi controls in this game, dude. No! Let me up there, man. There we go. Jeez. Now, is that so really so hard? Well, I'm out of juice again. So, guess that's it for that, huh? Cody's there. Love the fast. The fast travel room in this game is so great. Massive improvement over the original, I gotta say. Hmm. Well, hey, you know what? Now I can go back and get my mangoes. Nope, nope, bye. Aha, uh -huh, you're stuck. Yeah, I wanted to get a few mangoes for some, uh... For reasons, let's just say. I was gonna look at- I was gonna look at some more recipes. Oh yeah, you know what? While I'm here, I'm gonna buy an ice storm. Another ice storm and a honey syrup. Eh. Yeah, an ice storm and a honey syrup, then I can make an icicle pop. Eh. Eh. I love the noise he makes. Eh. Um, let's put these fresh pasta- let's put one fresh pasta away. Um, I haven't been using these, man. I haven't been using any of these items. Space food, I can store that. That's, that's just a gag item. Bushi, I'll, I'll take that out later. Okay, so I have a honey syrup and ice storm. That's good. I'll take a super shroom, too. You know what? Why not? We're gonna take some mangoes. 
Kind of annoying to get the mangoes though when there's fucking fuzzies here, mate. Alright, never mind. Easy, easy win. That's why I like that in the original, the fuzzies despawn after chapter 5. Maggie's the big boss of the whole syndicate now, eh? What do you know? I guess you can't judge a beyond to buy his fronds. What's that? You got a ticket for the X Express? Whoa! Let's see richer than you look. Much richer. The coconut milk here is just the best. You should try it sometime. When I had the side of the ocean, I remember being a wee baby. <laughs> he looks. He looks so proud of himself. Great. Anyways, chaps, we're gonna get some more recipes done today. Sounds like a pretty good idea to me, you know? Fun recipes. I mean, yeah, we can get one, we can get one, we can get the ice pop out of the way. Alright, it was two items. Honey, syrup, and ice storm. We can make an we can make an ice cup off that way. Alright, your ice cup pop. Replenishes 15 FP, but can sometimes freeze you. And they fixed the fucking error. Because it used to be it used to say it heals 10 HP. And they fixed that, thank god. Alright, what else can I make? Um, what can I use with mangoes, anyway? I don't know, that's a good question. Oh yeah, mango and a Koopa leaf. I need to get that. I'll do that after I cook this spaghetti, then. I'm making spaghetti, you know, pretty basic shit right here. Here we go, spaghetti. Spaghetti! Definitely looks like they updated the spaghetti sprite. Is that just me? Might just be me, I don't know. Oh, apparently if you use coup pasta and a turley leaf, you can make coup pasta that way. So you don't actually have to buy another set of pasta. But I don't think I have that many Koopa leaves in storage. I only have one. I only have one Koopa leaf. Yeah. Hey, don't I, um... Don't I use Ruin Powder and Cake Mix? Ruin Powder and Cake Mix to make Heartful Cake, yeah. I think that's the only thing you use for... Yeah, the only thing you cook with that, actually. You know what? Oh, we're here. We also buy Super Luigi. Super Luigi Book 1. Super popular. Now on sale. <laughs> yep. We'll have to read that at some point, too. There's so much shit to read. Like, holy crap, man. Well, we got Attack of XP here. Let's go. You know, let's also get Slow Go as well. Yep. Oh, well, fuck it. I'll buy, I'll buy these items, too. It'll help my, uh, my, my recipes, you know? How is this one? Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound peachy. Wow, it actually does sound like Princess Peach now. Where the fuck do you get the other attack effects, then? Am I stupid? I genuinely- I think you- oh, you know what? I think you buy it from the fucking mouse shop now. Maybe? It may make sense that they changed around the order of the attack effects badges. Oh, oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? Oh, I'm so fraught with worry that I can't hardly sleep nowadays. Please don't waste another moment, you must find the princess, you must. Actually, I never talked to the people in here in a while. Let's do that. When I was a lad, I'm blown up all the time. Some mates I respected once told me, "Explode without thinking is like drinking coffee without any cream. It's just wrong." 
I mean, scram. Don't talk to me. My heart's burning for some long-lost love. I feel like really could excess express once in my life. You understand. But I met an angelic waitress in the dying car and gave her a present. I wonder if she's treasuring the glass earrings I gave her out of purest love. These be her new favorites. Glass earrings, huh? Have a seat. This Polly's place where soft tunes massage the ears and soothe the spirit. Hello there, Yamari. You're doing well, I must assume, yes? Do not think I regret our fabulous adventure. Perhaps you and I will sail again someday. With all these, like, tiny little bits of dialogue that get included every chapter. It's, it's really nice, honestly. Alright, well, I'm going to the shop. What do you have for me? What do I miss? Oh, they shit, they added the second unsimplifier now. Well, you know what I gotta do, guys? I have to buy that. The game gets more challenging from here. What badges am I missing, then? Like, I don't know. Do they have double dip P here, maybe? Do they? They got damage dodge P. Did I get that yet? Oh, there it is. Attack effects R. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound bowser -y. Yes, I'm getting that. Wasting my money on that. Put that on, too. Do I have damage dodge P yet? I do, yeah. So what else am I missing? I'm missing Lucky Day. What the fuck this thing is? Um, what else could I be missing? Simplifier I have. I have the super appeals. I have all the happy badges. I don't know what I'm missing. I don't think there's anything I can buy from here, actually. Okay, let's go over, you know, that's the ultimate P, that's all or nothing, that's hammer man, that's PFD down P. This is lucky day. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's Flower Fanatic. <laughs> Maybe Flower Fanatic exists in this game now. We know this is Bump Attack. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of weird badges, man. <laughs> Slows down the party's movement speed on the field. You know, put it on. Just for shits and giggles. It even works all in your Yoshi. I'm all sold out. I change the goods I offer from time to time. Uh, what else do I? Oh yeah, right. Koopa Leaf and Keel Mango. Alright, here we go. Um, you know what? Let's do Super Shrimp and Jam and Jelly. I haven't done that one yet. Do that combo. Alright, here we go. Jelly Super. Now that is a decent healing item, I say. Alright, next up, Kill Mango Turdly Leaf makes a Koopa Bun. Mm. There it is. The Koopa Bun's very cute, I like it. A dump it's a dumpling. I don't know if there's anything else. I think that's it. You know what? Cook the mystery. I don't remember if this works the way it does in 64. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I'll have to look. There's apparently some exclusive, um, some, there's apparently some exclusive, um, like, recipes, apparently. Kind of crazy, huh? Hmm. Let's see. 
We're gonna look at what else. What else can we make? Oh, I give I give an ice storm and a maple syrup. I can get a zest wrap. That's right. Zest cookie with a gradual syrup and a cake mix. Hmm, interesting. Oh wait, it says recipes that are colored green can be made by cooking a mystery, but there's a 50% chance of failing. Oh, I see. So yeah, mysteries do still work like they do in 64. And Mario here. But I just got unlucky and I got the 50-50 draw where it doesn't turn into anything. So, yeah. Well, it says apparently I have dropped 119 frames. I don't know which frames those are, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't think I'm really going to lose sleep over that. Anyways, um, let's look at recipe. What recipes am I missing? Have I made a... I've not made a honey super yet either. I guess we could do that while we're here. We have some money to spare. <laughs> eh. Alright, I am here to sell. I'm going to sell that jelly super, get some money back. Yeah, that should be good. Did I make a honey ultra yet? I don't know, I don't know actually, that's a good question. I should probably store those thunder rages, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna need the omelet meal either. Probably get rid of that. Buy omelet meal. There you go. Do I have anything interesting in storage? <laughs> I do have a jam and jelly. Which I could make a. Actually, I don't know what I can make with that. There's not really a whole lot I can make with that, to be honest. I guess I can take out the rune powder again. What can that jam and jelly cook? Well, I haven't made a... Have I made a... I think I've made a... I've used jam and jelly with everything, haven't I? Let me see. I've made... I have not... Actually, no, I've not made a jelly room yet. We'll make that then, too. Yes, yeah, so I'm keeping all these fucking stupid badges. The Bowser and Peach badges. Alright, Mushroom and... Uh, where's my Jam and Jelly? Oh, I didn't take the Jam and Jelly out. Shit. I'll do that in a sec, then. <laughs> Alright, um... Honey... Honey... Honey Super? I have not made the Honey Super yet. Apparently. Yep. Yummy. Okay, uh, what else can I make? Um... I'm missing the... Missing the Maple Super, the Maple Ultra, and the Jelly Shroom. Be reasonable enough. I need, uh, I need to get my jam and jelly out. I'll sell, I'll sell the honey, the honey super, though. I don't need that. Eh. Okay, let's take that out, then. I also need to find a way to get, um... I need to find a way to get, like, uh, maple syrups and stuff. I don't need the shroom fry. I don't need the maple shroom. I'm gonna sell these for some extra dough. Where, can I, where do I buy maple syrups from? I think the the only place I really know where to get them from would be like, I guess Chapter Four. The Chapter Four shop probably sells them. I think. Also, I need to get Koopa leaves, so we'll do that real quick. We can make Koopasta as well.
Have any of your guys' dialogue changed, by the way? What a waste of brain power, but now I think on it, maybe I'm getting forgetful. I know Koops isn't causing any problems, I'm awfully worried. Tell me more, how's my boy Koops doing? If he's not pulling his weight, you just let me know. I'll take his place in your group like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey Mario, you're Luigi's older brother, right? That's so cool. I mean, you're cool too and all, but I just think Luigi's the greatest. Thanks you. You'll be calm again. No one goes in that shop place, man. Does Toasty have anything to say? Tilly tries to play it off, but he's actually very sick over what'll happen to Coops. He should know, though. Don't judge a person. No, don't judge a Coop by its shell. That eh, seems pretty samey to me. Right, I, need, I need some Koopa leaves. Hey, Koop. Hey, Koop. How you doing? Uh, who's that? Who's that? Hold on, wait, on. Uh, uh, I'll put you. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. How you been, Murphy? I'm good as ever. In my long life. That's the same. Actually, I need a, I need a few. I, I I need two maple syrups. Maybe maybe three. Who knows? Ooh, three maple syrups. I think the chapter four shops got maple syrups. If not, I'll be sad. Alright, get me over there. Yep, they got maples. Alright, let's go. They also got life shrooms for a pretty deep, cheap price. Okay, let's think about what I'm missing. I also need maple super. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're buying three maple syrups then. We're also getting a super shroom. Yeah, because I need them. I need a cake mix as well. We're going on a recipe quest now, guys. I don't know, there's just something really satisfying about slowly filling out the recipe log. I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. It just feels great to do. So I'll probably do these recipes and then maybe we'll do another episode where I do more side quests. We'll do some of the troubles and shit, you know? You know what I mean? So yeah. I need to get a cake mix, though, from uh, the... The Pianta Center. Good old Pianta Center, man. I tell you what. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. I'm just fan goombatastic. I love checking my scores on the machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? You say my kids have it rough. Oh, they're just fine. My kids are independent and tough. They can handle it. But I guess I should pay a little te more attention to them, maybe. These are the coins they use Pianta tokens here. You can get one Pianta for three coins from this changer here. But you can't change Pianta back to coins, understand? Hey, it's you again. Looks like we gotta owe you one. So, yeah, thanks. That card, you got a member's card. I'll prepare the game you can play with that member's card. How exciting. Well, yeah, we'll have to play the paper game at some point as well. I just want a cake mix, you know? Oh my god, you can get gold bar times three. There's 600 down. Holy shit, that's a lot. Do you realize how many fucking games you gotta play to get that many? Well, I realize you can also get um, maple syrups here, too. Yeah, I'm kind of running low, kind of, kind of running low on time, so... I might play the paper game next time. Then we gotta do some troubles and all that. You know, the whole shindig. You know, I'm gonna be up playing this game until 10, 2 a.m., I swear to God. Professor Fankly has to be done his research by now. I know, Goombella. I'm busy right now. Alright, first up, Maple Ultra. 
these are like the boring recipes. <laughs> like the really boring ones. Like, it's just like, here, you combine, combine this shit with all these random things, you know? Combine a super shroom with a honey syrup. Combine a super shroom with a jam and jelly. Combine an ultra shroom with a honey syrup. You know, the, the boring crap. Am I, miss it? Am I missing any others? I think I'm missing ma super, ma maple super still. We'll do that. We'll do that. can sell all these probably. 10 HP, 10 FP. Alright, um... Turdly Leaf and Spaghetti apparently makes Kupasta. We're about to find out if this one's actually true. Yeah, it looks like it worked. Who pasta? Which is honestly not a bad item. And I can also make, um... What did I want to make, actually? It was, uh... Oh, fuck, I forgot. Was it cake mix and an ice storm or something? It was a zest frap. Oh, no, 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 zest cookie. Make cake mix and maple syrup. Yeah, it supposedly makes a zest cookie. Which is good. I do like zest cookies. Those are good. Those are really good items. There it goes. Looks like it came out perfect. Yum! Yeah, zest cookie. Oh, 15 HP, 15 FP. Why do I think it was 20 FP? Am I thinking of a different item? Oh, well, I'm thinking of the Zest Frap, aren't I? Or the Zest T. <laughs> Might be that too, you know? Alright, we got a bunch of- Super Luigi 2! Manager's pick. Yes, it gets really costly to, start to buy all those fucking Super Luigi books. Alright, we're gonna sell all these. I want my money back, you know? There we go. I might get rid of the zest dinner. I also need a cake mix for rune powder as well. Well, we'll do more recipes um, next time. But for now, um, we're gonna we're going to. Uh, say goodbye so thanks for watching this episode of ttyd remake and we'll be doing more recipes more troubles more other things you know that kind of stuff <laughs>